Well, hello everybody. This is October the 23rd of 2022. And the time is about, let's see, 5.30, about 5.30 p.m. 5.30 p.m. It's a beautiful day. I can't turn the camera around, but I can turn the phone around and show you. The leaves are sure falling out of the trees this morning. Pretty leaves. Leaves are sure falling out of the trees. We had a lot of high winds today, too. Lots of high winds. So, but anyway, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. I choose to rejoice and be glad. For weeping may endure for a moment, but joy comes in the morning. And that's so very true. That's so very true. And you know, I give God all the honor and the glory and the praise because He is a good God. And He will not, He will never forsake the righteous. And, uh, He's seed, he's seed begging, begging bread. I forget how that goes. I forget how it goes, but anyway. <clears throat> I do put all my faith and my trust in my Lord. Because I know that he will, he will come through. He will. He sure will. And I know this. Just like I've said before, I know that he has a place for us. Excuse me. I don't know where at for sure. I don't know where at, but he does. You want to see the righteous forsaken or his seed begging, begging bread. And that's right. So anyway, I wanted to uh, read a couple of devotionals. Well, that breeze feels good. The bottom's going to drop out, though, here pretty soon. It's going to drop out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read for yesterday believe even when it seems oh this is my prayers on fire prayers on fire prayers on fire okay even when it seems i'm surrounded by lot by liars and my own fears and though i'm hurting in my suffering and trauma i still stay faithful to god and i speak words of faith that's a good one this is a good one <clears throat> that's psalms 116 verses 10 and 11 Lord, in the midst of turmoil and fear, give me unwavering faith. Demolish every fear with your powerful love. I let go of every thought that tries to make my problems look bigger than you. Nothing is too hard for you. Nothing. I believe in the areas where I struggle with unbelief. I ask for your mercy. For his mercy. I'll stand and declare your promises, letting them penetrate deep into my heart so they become life within me. I remind myself of the many times you've come through for me before. Yes, yes, he always come through, comes through. You've never forgotten me, and even when it feels as if you have, I'll shake off the lie and lean into your love. Yes, lean into his love. That's so very true, that's so very true. I release control and the need to, and the need to understand. I seek you for wisdom and trust that if there's anything you want me to do besides believe, you'll show me. I refuse to worry. I was created to trust you and be at peace. Give me eyes to see this situation the way that you do. You'll get me through this. You love me. Faith gives me the victory. Faith gives us the victory. That's for sure. Faith gives us the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus. My Savior forever. Well, he sought me and he bought me with his redeeming love. He loved me ere I knew him and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood yes siree heard about a mansion he is built for me in glory and i heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea about the angels singing and the old redemption story 
And some sweet day I'll sing up there the song of victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. Well, he sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. Beneath the cleansing flood. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. I love him so very, very much. And you know, we're all stupid. Us believers. What I mean is, by saying that, is... We're ignorant because we know that he will take us through. He will see us through our storms. Why do we worry? Why do we fret? Why? Why do, why do we do that? When we're men and women of God, he takes us through. Well, it's our, it's our carnal mind. It's our carnal minds. We're in the carnal way of thinking. In the carnal way of thinking. You know? I mean, the devil may attack us. The devil may come at us in all directions. Oh, <laughs> he may come at us in all directions. But we don't let, we don't let that sway us. We don't let that sway us. I mean, it's very easy to get into the flesh. It's very easy to get into the flesh. I'm a testimony for that, to that. We quote scripture back at him. We quote the, we quote the scriptures back at him. When he comes at us, we quote the scriptures. Yep. For it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Get thee hence, Satan, for it, was, it is written. That's right. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. All right. Now then, for today, forever. Forever. All right. May your tender love overwhelm me, O Lord. For you are my Savior, and you keep your promises. And that's Psalms 119, verse 41. I come before you, laying every distraction at your feet. I love you. I need your presence more than anything else in this world. May my words of love move your heart. May my desire to walk the path of love bless you. Bless you. You draw me out of religion's box and into your chambers. You draw me out of religion's box and into your chambers. Your love is all the motivation I need to live a life of purity and holiness. I run with arms wide open into the house I now call home. Your presence is my safe haven, the one place I can be myself. I'm honored you brought me, you brought me near. I'm honored that you brought me near. I want to eat and drink of you and become all you created me to be. I want to stay here in the reality of your glory always. I am lovesick, ruined for the lesser things of earthly li life. Let me live in the awareness of your overloving love forever. He is the lover of our souls. He's the lover of our souls, people. The lover of our souls. You know. We're never alone. We're never alone. We are never, ever alone. We're never alone. He's always with us. He's always with us. Sometimes we don't feel like he is, but he is. He is with us. He's with us, people. He's with us. I love my Lord. 
I love you, Jesus. He's he's in the pretty colors of the leaves of the trees. He's in all he's in all the beauty. He's in all the beauty. All the beauty. Even even the ugliest the ugliest the ugliest thing in this world. He sees beyond the ugly. He sees beyond the ugly. And he puts beauty to it. He puts beauty to it and in it. I watched a very dear brother, a pastor brother I watched on Facebook, Pastor Bill Simmons. He's in the last stages of cancer. He said it's getting harder and harder for him to do his messages. And he said so many people have pagan gods, pagan gods. They don't even stop and think about who Jesus is and, and what Jesus did for us. He said he's not afraid of death. He said, I'm not afraid of death. Because he said, I know where I know where I'm gonna go. He said, I'm not afraid of death. So maybe you all could keep him in your prayers. Pastor Reverend Bill Simmons. I'm not sure where he lives. I'm not, not sure if he lives in, in uh, Tennessee or Kentucky. I know he lives down south somewhere. I'm not sure. Please keep him and his family in your prayers. He said he was going to keep preaching until he couldn't preach no more. He used to preach at church. And now he preaches at home. Preaches at home. He said it's getting harder and harder for him to do his messages. So you see what I mean? We, we have trivial things, maybe trivial things. And there's people right now that, that are suffering. Suffering with... with debilitating diseases you know and it's very true all of our little aches and pains are nothing compared to the people that have these awful awful things you know our little aches and pains doesn't doesn't measure up doesn't measure up to what some people go through, the pain that they go through, the anguish, everything that they go through, but the closer we get to God, He gives us revelations. He gives He gives us revelations. He lets us know that He is God and He loves us. He loves us. He loves us. Even through our stupidity. Even through our <laughs> imperfections. He loves us. Like I said before, I bet sometimes he'll look down he looks down at us and he just he just smiles. He smiles. I do think he has a sense of humor too. I think he has a sense of humor too. I'm sure that he that he probably does. Sense of humor. My Lord and my God, my Lord and my God, thou art with me, thou art with me, thy rod, thy rod and thy st staff, they comfort me, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 
Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, yet shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He leadeth me beside the still waters. My cup runneth over. I get it mixed up a little bit, but it still, it's still, my cup runneth over. He is my refuge and my fortress. Psalms 91. He's my refuge, my fortress. In him I will trust. In him I will trust. For he is my shield, my buckler, the horn of my salvation. The horn of my salvation. I mean, the 10,000 may fall by my side. I can't remember how it goes unless I read it out of the Bible. <laughs> they shall not come near me. I just feel peaceful. I just feel, I feel very peaceful. I feel peaceful, you guys. Doing my videos to you all blesses me. Just getting on here and doing my videos to you, to you guys gives me peace and blesses me. And we are all we we are someone's answer. It may be one thing we might say that might reach someone. You know, one thing we might say, one word of encouragement. To someone that might be down, you know, it's what I've always said too. If, if I could make someone feel better, you know, some encouragement to somebody. That's why I, I keep continuing to do these videos. Another reason why that I continue to do them. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm only human. There's times I get down. There's times I get down, too. That's why I've asked people to pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. But today's been a beautiful day. Today has been a beautiful, a very, very windy day. At least the winds have died down, but a very windy day. But a beautiful day. I believe we're going to have a harsh, a cold, harsh, snowy winter. Whether we'll get out of this here before winter, I don't know. Only God knows that. But he'll take us through. He'll take us through. He'll take us through. Through it all. Through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. I've learned to depend upon His Word. nice breath of fresh air he loves for us to sing sing praises to him he touched me oh he touched me and oh the joy that floods my soul something happened and now I know my Jesus touched me and made me whole. Since I met this blessed 
Since he cleansed and made me whole, I will never cease to praise him. I'll shout it while eternity rolls. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something happened. And now I know my Jesus touched me and made me whole. My Jesus touched me and made me whole. He'll touch you too. He'll touch you too. I pray that he will send more blood flow to my heart. In Jesus' precious name, I pray that he will send more blood flow to my heart. Yes, more blood flow. My heart will be as good as ever. And I won't have to have any, any surgeries. In Jesus' name, I claim it. I agree in Jesus' precious name. My Jesus touched me and made me whole. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're such an awesome God. You're such a truly awesome God. So anyway, put your faith, your trust, your love, your hope, put everything in Jesus. Give it to Jesus. When things come at us, people that comes at us, give them to Jesus. Give them to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. I just feel, I just feel teary. I feel teary. I feel teary. I know God's got us in the palm of his hands. He's got us in the palm of his hands, people. Let's do the Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said amen in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I want to send us a shout out to River, my very, very sweet, dear River. I love you and hugs, hugs, and kisses. Yvette, I love you, hugs and kisses. Rebecca, to all my Gospel Minute Live family, hugs, love, and prayers for all of you. I love you all dearly. I love you all dearly. So everybody be blessed. Be blessed and not stressed. And just know that God's got this. God's got the, you in the palm of his hands. He's got us in the palm of his hands. Got us in the palm of his hands. No evil will sh shall come near our dwelling. I should have brought my Bible out. 
I can't wait to get my Orthodox Study Bible. I'll be getting it soon, I'm sure. I'll be getting it soon. <clears throat> then I can read some of the quotations from the church fa early church fathers. So, it goes back to the first century. It goes back to the first century. So you all be blessed. I smell, I smell lavender. Thank you, Jesus. I smell lavender, lilac, lilac, lavender. I've smelled him before. I've smelled his presence before. It smells like flowers. What a beautiful smell. What a beautiful smell. Thank you, Lord. I smell you, Lord. I smell your presence. Thank you, Jesus. I smell him. I smell his presence. Beyond the wood burning, I, I, somebody's having a cookout, but I but I just got a, got a whiff of beautiful lilac or lavender. Wow. <laughs> all right, you guys, I guess I'll let you go. I've been on here 26, I'm at 27 minutes. I've got a squirrel up there in the tree. I know they're wanting, they're wanting fed. So I guess I better see to the squirrels, I guess. So to my next video, this is Minister Gloria Dr Harlow Drummond, or uh, Gloria Drummond on, on this, on Back to the Altar Ministries. Remember my other YouTube channel, Jesus is the Answer Ministries, is my other YouTube channel. Yes, I hear you barking up there. I, didn't, I never didn't know squirrels barked. Never knew that, but they do. <laughs> so anyway, again, be blessed and not stressed. I love you all. May God bless one and all. To my next broadcast. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.